Hi everyone, I'm Michael Stefano here with Mustangs TV here with Caitlin Goose Gosling of our Western Women's Ice Hockey Team. How are you doing today, Goose? Pretty good yourself? Not too bad. So first and foremost, I'd like to congratulate you on your gold medal win at the Nations Cup over in Germany. Uh, obviously the Western campus is proud of you and I'm sure your parents and family are also really proud of you. Um, gotta ask, how surreal was it when you guys beat Finland uh, in that gold medal game over in Germany? It was pretty overwhelming. I don't, still don't think I can put it into words. Uh, definitely something I'm honored to be a part of. So I'm just wondering what the process was and uh, what work you had to put in to get yourself there. Um, I'm very, very new to the program. Uh, back in May, I got invited to a strength and conditioning camp where we did uh, fitness testing. And then there was a September camp where we did fitness testing again and then a bunch of uh, on-ice sessions and uh, some inter-squad games. And then, and then throughout the year we just log in and let them like, keep them updated with uh, our workouts and our on-ice sessions and then from there they pick their teams. So was it just a really intense summer I guess for you for training? I would say so. I mean I think it was the, like, uh, the first summer. I, not the first, but I spent a lot of time with the hockey specific training with uh, Kelly Patton. So she really helped me over the summer to uh, get to where I am. Uh, and obviously Kelly Patton's one of your new coaches, um, but last season you had coach Chris Higgins, who is now a member of the scouting team for Team Canada, and I'm sure he's really proud to have one of his former uh, athletes and girls go off and, and make the team. Um, what steps do you think personally you made over the past few years that allowed you to excel and get noticed by Team Canada? I mean, uh, I didn't really know I was up for even the opportunity to go, so I mean, I enjoy playing the game and I, I like to work hard, so I think that got me there. I mean, it was a surprise when I got the invite, so I don't really know what specifically I did. When exactly did they uh, reach out to you and when did you know that you were on Hockey Canada's radar? Uh, at the end of last season, I, when I got invited to the U22 May Camp, was kind of the first initial, like, I got, like, I got a shot at this. and. Uh, so that's when I found out. I was kind of really surprised. So this is your first year uh, getting noticed by Team Canada going to the development camp. Um, would you say that the skill level of the girls kind of surprised you or would you say that you were able to keep up and, and play up to their skill level? I mean, obviously they're phenomenal players. Uh, going into it, I knew they were going to be uh, really good, but I think when I got there, it was not even more shocked to see how big they were, how strong, how fast. and. Uh, Obviously, some of the players I got to skate with, especially at the September camp, skating with a bunch of the Olympians. Uh, I mean, I, I don't even think words can describe like how good they are on the ice. And uh, I felt like I, I could kind of keep up to their thing. I know it's going to take a lot to like get to their level, but uh, it was definitely something extremely exciting. Um, what would you say was your, I guess, favorite moment or best experience while playing? Uh, I think just even walking into the dressing room when they had it all set up with our jerseys on the first game day was kind of something neat. Like uh, it's always been a dream of mine to wear the Canada logo, and uh, just to walk in there and realize that like it's going to happen. That today I get to go on the ice and be a part of that team was something very special. So you've had a lot of success uh, early in your young hockey career. Uh, I'd like to talk briefly about last season. Obviously, it was a remarkable season for you guys, going 21 and three. Um, which was a record-setting season for Western Hockey on your way to winning the national championship. So just one regulation loss during the regular season, and then you guys went undefeated, getting yourselves up to the top, becoming nation's top team, winning the championship. How was that moment different than winning gold with Team Canada? I think just the, maybe the bond I had with the players. Uh, obviously, I trained throughout the whole year with the, the team we had at Nationals last year and uh, don't get me wrong, the girls that I met in uh, Germany are phenomenal people and uh, really started to get along with them at the end but I think it's uh, a big difference when you spend a year training with people and uh, we became a family last year so it's kind of really special that way winning with uh, all the girls next to us. What would you say was so different about last year and how you guys came together and just had such a remarkable run compared to your, the previous three seasons you had as a Mustang? Uh, I would say it had to do a lot with the girls, but then uh, even more importantly, uh, our coach Dave Barrett was, uh, did a phenomenal job at uh, 
instill in a team first attitude and just uh, build that ap uh, atmosphere for us. And I think uh, we all got to like the thing where like we're all here for each other. We're all willing to put in the work. So might as well have fun doing it. So I think Dave did a really good job at teaching us that it's more important about what happens on the ice, but that if we come together that things will pull through. Hey, talk about Dave Barrett, obviously uh, was the head co-coach uh, Chris Higgins last season, but now this year Dave Barrett's been able to come in and he's been the head coach and taken over and you guys really haven't missed a beat. Uh, but how would you say their coaching styles uh, differ between the two? I'd say they each brought something different. I mean, they're both very supportive coaches. Uh, Chris was uh, did a good job at bringing film to the team. He uh, watched a lot of NHL teams and would watch our games and uh, be able to pull us into his office and show us kind of things that way. Uh, Dave does a really good job with uh, systems or how to like progress as a team throughout the years. So I think between the two of them, they did a really good job at putting us together. Yeah, obviously you guys had a big recruiting year this year, uh, brought in a lot of new players, a lot of new girls, but we're halfway through the season now, almost at the playoffs. Who would you say has stood out to you and has really kind of um, taken off in the rookie year? So it's hard to pinpoint one player. I think uh, all of them have done a good job at uh, coming into the team and then being uh, a valuable player to the team too. I mean. Uh, the rookies are just important to this, or I wouldn't want to call them rookies. The first year players are just as important to this team as any other player. So I think they've done a good job at realizing that and doing what they can to uh, contribute to the team. Uh, and, you know, you say that they're doing a great job contributing to the team. And you lost a couple of players, but not too many players. Uh, a lot of you guys came back. I think there's five fifth year players on the team now, four maybe. Do you guys? Think you guys have what it takes to repeat as national champions? Uh, I think absolutely. I mean, it's not going to be an easy road, and uh, there'll be a lot of tough battles we'll have to fight. But I think uh, for sure this team has the potential to win. Okay, so uh, well, hopefully you guys can end up getting yourself, you know, back-to-back -back championships to end your CIS career. Come in, it's your fifth season, and it's your last year of eligibility. Um, as a Western Mustang, what would you say is the biggest takeaway? from being on this women's team? Uh, I would just say like, just enjoying the moment and like uh, really uh, valuing the people next to you. I mean, uh, we wouldn't have had this success on this team if we didn't uh, come together as uh, the group we did. So I think it's as uh, important you might think you are, you're, n you're nothing if you don't have uh, a great group beside you. And when you came in in your first year, who would you say was the player that kind of took you under their wing and showed you what to, what to do to progress in the league. Obviously, it's a big jump coming from playing with the Devilettes to coming and playing against the CIS we were playing against. You play against grown women. I mean, Haley Wickenheiser was in this league for a few years who you have played against. So who, I guess, like I said, took you under your wing and kind of showed you the ropes? I think the captains our first year did a good job at making all of us feel welcome. Uh, it's been a lot of like, great people on this team, and I think each one of them brought something different and made you feel welcome or taught you something, uh, something different that others couldn't. Like I said, it's your last year. Have you thought about what the future holds for you? Do you plan on playing hockey in the future? Yeah, I hope uh, I hope I get to join the CWHL next year and uh, play some more hockey there. I don't think I'm ready to give it up quite yet. Obviously, making it on the under-22 development league for Team Canada, they clearly hold you. Uh, high above others in this league and in the country. Um, is being an Olympian one of the goals for you? I, yes, it's always a dream. It always has been a dream. Uh, I wouldn't know what to say if it ever came true, but uh, I'm going to do what I can and see if I can get there. Is there something else that you plan on doing uh, after graduation? Yeah, uh, eventually I want to uh, take firefighting at a college, probably close to here. I'm not exactly too sure on the details, but uh, that's definitely the career I want to take on. All right, well, I'd like to congratulate you on your gold medal win and just make it Team Canada. You definitely made this Western campus proud and all of us here by representing us in Team Canada over in Germany. And I wish you and the entire uh, Lady Mustang success from here on out and in the season on your road to becoming national champs once again. Thank you so much.